Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create a stunning sales report chart template in PowerPoint. The beautiful sales report chart template you will learn to create today looks like this. And I'm going to start from this chart, which is one of the default chart options available in Microsoft PowerPoint. And I'm going to work my way through so that we end up with this beautiful chart. These kind of charts make your report presentation sizzle. So let us learn how to create this beautiful chart from this normal looking chart in a step by step way. First off, I'm going to assume that you know how to create a simple column chart like this in PowerPoint. If you don't know, then you can go to our channel, Presentation Process YouTube channel, and then look for how to create column charts, and you will find a very useful step-by-step -step tutorial there. You can always go ahead and watch that video, and then come back to this one. In this chart, you can see that there is a simple performance representation. Here we have the performance shown of five different people, and then the target is also shown right next to it. Now this is okay as a chart, but this doesn't really have the oomph to get the audience to pay attention to your slides. Now let us see how to make it look a little more attractive. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to the column that represents target. So I'm going to select that one, and I'm going to go to the design tab in PowerPoint ribbon. Then I'm going to go to change chart type, and I'm going to change the chart type of this particular one, the target one, from clustered column to area chart. So I'm going to select area, and you can see that this one is the area chart, and it's beautiful, and I'm going to say OK. And now we have our target very clearly defined. Now I want to change the color of this one, so let me go to the Home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, and let us go to Shape Fill and give it a blue color like this, maybe even a lighter one, and then go to Shape Fill, go to Gradient, and then give it um, a gradient like this, linear down. So this almost simulates the way water looks. So it is like water level. It is deeper down here, and it is this one is on the surface. So that is the illusion that we are trying to create here. Now the next step is to change these columns into something more interesting. So I'm going to select the columns here, go to the Design tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to Change Chart Type, and I'm going to change the chart type of these columns from clustered column to a line chart. So I'm going to use the option called line with markers. So I'm going to select that one, and I'm going to say OK. And now what we've got is line with markers. Now this line chart doesn't really look as impressive as we want. So I'm going to make some small transformations so that this chart looks really impressive. The first thing I'm going to do is to select this particular line chart, and I'm going to go to Format Data Series. Now this pane opens up. Let us go to the first option called Fill and Line, and we are going to make a change for change to the markers. So let us go to the marker option. So click on the marker, and this one opens up. And instead of the automatic, go to Built in, and then choose the type as uh, the one like this one, which is an isosceles triangle. So select that one. And then you can really increase the size by uh, selecting the size option and go really big. So this is the size, and that is beautiful. Now we are going to change the color of these isosceles triangles. So I'm going to go to the fill option here. You cannot use the options here. Remember, this is the option for the line. So we are going to use the options for the marker. So I'm going to go to fill option here. And instead of the automatic color, I'm going to choose a different color. So in this case, I'm going to use the orange color. And then if I don't want the border, I go to no line. Change this automatic to no line. Now we don't have a line for these markers, so that's beautiful. Now that we have got these isosceles arrows ready, we are going to remove the connecting line. So let us go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. And now we have got these markers, which are so beautiful, and they represent the different data points. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to go to the Design tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to Add Chart Element, and then go to Lines option, and I'm going to choose Drop Lines. So these lines really make this arrow come alive. 
Now let us try and increase the thickness of these lines. So let us select the lines here. So just click on the lines. You can see just on a single click, you are able to select all these lines. Go to shape outline, go to weight and then increase the weight to say around four and a half points or three points. It's completely up to you. And if you want to have the line color as say black, you can choose to do that. So that is what I am going to choose. Now what we've got is these arrows complete with their stem. Now it is time to add data labels to complete this chart. So I'm going to select these uh, markers. I'm going to open this chart elements uh, option and I'm going to say data labels. So I'm going to select the data labels and I'm going to position them above. So that is where they're going to be positioned and I'm going to remove this Y axis. So I'm going to select that and delete. And I don't even need this grid line. So I'm going to select the grid lines and I'm going to delete them. Now this is pretty beautiful. I'm going to click on the bounding box and I'm going to increase the font size for everything so that it's much easier for the audience to read the numbers. So let me increase the font size. Yeah, that's beautiful. And if I want to have this in a smaller font, I select the legend here and then I'm going to reduce the size. So now if I go to slideshow mode, you can see that we have a beautiful chart, which is more like arrows shooting out of water. The poor performance is shown here as something submerged underwater. And the one above, these are the data points which are above the target. And here this title is totally self-explanatory. It says all but Andy exceeded targets in May. You can see that only Andy was not able to exceed the target. Rest everyone else has been able to exceed the target. And your audience will be able to take a look at the title and instantly find the evidence here and the chart is instantly registered in their minds. So you can see that this chart is not like one of the run of the mill charts that you would normally find in a boardroom presentation. This chart looks different and hence is going to be remembered by your audience. Now what you saw is just one example of how you can make your charts look more interesting. Now I'm going to show you some creative options taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. Now this bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that take your presentations to a whole new level. The first example is our iceberg chart showing values above benchmark. Now this chart plays on the metaphor of tip of the iceberg. As you can see here, this is the iceberg and this is the water level and this water level represents target and the performance above the water level is shown here with data labels and the performance below the water level doesn't have any data labels and these are underperformers. Now let us change some data here and then see how the chart updates itself. This is a totally data driven chart. I'm going to right click on this and go to edit data just as you would try to edit any chart in PowerPoint. Now you can see that you need to update only the data here in the yellow cells. The rest of the calculations are all made in the gray cells. You don't really bother about touching them. Now let us update this chart and see the reflection here. Now let us say that uh, in the month of April, the performance has been really impressive. As you can see here, the May is 29, which is above target. And by the way, if you want to see what the target here is, it is 25. Of course, every part of this is totally editable. You can change the benchmark. You can change any of these values. So we have got 25. Let us say we can change the benchmark here. Let us say 20 and then I hit enter and instantly the water level goes down and all the performances that are above the water level are shown very beautifully with data labels. Now let us go back to increasing the water level by increasing the benchmark. So let us say this time, uh, let us call this as say 26 and then instantly the water level has increased and all the ones that are in and around that performance number are shown here. Now let us say the month of April has been a good performance and let us uh, change the number for April from 21 to say around 35. I just change the number here and I hit enter and instantly you have another iceberg tip shown here. 
And that is how this beautiful iceberg chart works. This almost seems like magic because we have done quite a lot of work at the back end. So you don't really have to stress at all. You just need to get this template, change the numbers and you can present your report presentations and make your audience go wow. I'm going to show you some other examples of performance versus a target. This one shows underperformance with explanation. Beautiful, isn't it? You can see that the good performances are shown here with green color and the arrow is pointing upwards and the poor performance is shown here with red color and you have the explanation. So let us say the explanation here needs to be changed. All you need to do is to select this, go to edit data as you would do with any normal chart and then you can make your changes here. These are the labels and let us say the backlogs is uh, some other reason. So I am going to say this is reason two or whatever is the reason and I'm going to hit enter and instantly the label is up updated. So that is how this particular chart works and this one shows performance versus average. No matter what set of data points you write here, automatically this average line is drawn and the performance above average is shown with tick and the one below is shown with a cross. And this one shows worries and smiles. Of course, as you can see here, this is a very interesting visual representation of performance and the performance above target is shown with these kind of smileys which are uh, smiling ones and the ones below are shown with crying face. Now let me make a quick change here so that you know that this is totally data driven though it doesn't really look like one. Let us say the month of May is 24 instead of that let us change this to say um, 9 or something which is much below the target and here of course you can uh, change the target as I mentioned earlier as well. You just hit enter and instantly the smile has gone down to uh, the sorrow face and that is how this particular chart works. Now all these charts that I showed you are not the run of the mill charts. These charts are designed to make sure that your audience pays attention to your slide presentations. These templates are for those presentations where your end result matters. We have tons of such options available in our templates bundle. All that and more is available in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of our best-selling PowerPoint templates packs like our PowerPoint Charts and Diagrams CEO Pack 1, CEO Pack 2 which has graphics and concepts, Advanced Animations Pack which has more than 750 cutting-edge animations that help you to tell a visual story, Visual PowerPoint Graphs Pack which has data-driven PowerPoint graph templates like our dual thermometers, bullet charts, speedometers, visual pie charts, dashboards, etc. Flat Design Pack which has modern flat design style PowerPoint templates. Hand-drawn Graphics Pack which has slight templates that look very informal like this. Themed Title Templates that give a good first impression to your audience. And more than 400 new consulting models and frameworks that are not available anywhere else in any of the template sets in the market. If you are someone who is serious about making presentations that influence your career and business, then this is the best PowerPoint bundle you can invest in. And one more thing, as a thank you for watching this video this far, I am happy to offer you our free 5-day email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. Each of the ideas that I share in this practical email course is extremely easy for anyone to pick up and apply in the next presentation. You can sign up for the free email course by clicking on the link here. So please do click and I will see you inside the email course.